Moana. Okay, shh, 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 air bite. It's not you going to get. No, 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 hey. Janelle. Whoever wants to be a. Oh shit, I need to remove Isaiah Miller, I guess. <laughs> Anyone else trying to be a jury? I could not. I'm sorry, that's the first three camps are on duty today. Anybody got on a date? I'm good. Okay. Hey, Judge, you got one more. You mean regular uniform? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go out there. Anybody be advised we got four three people? Online? Um, Online? Yeah. Just two guys. Yeah, they're all right here. <laughs> Wait, why is Leo Diamond on as a police officer? He's not. I just hit F7 and it says Leo Diamond Police. Well, my business then. You ain't got a question yet? Well, I, that, no. What does it say? What the fuck? What the fuck? Did, were you on as Leo earlier? No, I, I accidentally switched. It may be a glitch or something. I, I went to my fucking... I know I'm what outfit I'm in because I wouldn't be able to go on duty. Yeah. So I think I just gotta log out, go to my apartment, log out, and go back. Two or three. Two or three. I'm out of service. Yeah, I'm not active right now because I need. Just the green lane, that's mine. It literally looks like they're talking to Teamspeak. How much more than that? They are. They are talking to Teamspeak. Yeah, I'm now great. We got it. Nice to be able to hear him. Did you reload your uh Two snore? Not oh, well, that's weird. That's weird. Did you close it? Did you did you close and open again?
Officer, identify yourself, please. Here, hold on. I'm gonna. There we go. I'm gonna mute myself because I'm gonna be like I don't have my fucking radio. So. I have no clue who just fucking. Yeah, it's a 315. It's on the floor to put their hands up. I'm not doing that. What? 315? Th yeah, I'm 315. Oh, why? Oh, does he want you to be on fucking jury duty? Is he talking? I think he is. Everybody stand up. You're all good. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah. Hey Sarge, hop over there as a bailiff. I guess he's gonna come out. He is now. I think so. Yeah, he's on a DA orders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tired of not being able to hear shit. Nothing, you're floating. <laughs> go, you gotta go into your eyeballs mode and back up.
Sorry, Your Honor. I can make sure I get my notes ready. Go into shouting, and then you might be able to hear them. I am in shouting. Then I still can't. That's weird. <laughs> I can, like, just barely hear someone. I can't hear shit either on my stream on my stream. Fuck. He he can't. I can't well. Actually, I don't. I think you're. You're. Yeah. Apologize if nobody can hear the judge. Uh, it's quiet for some reason. So. Are you able to hear that? I didn't know I was being uh, put on stand as a witness, Your Honor. My stream is so f fucking. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my stream. Um. Did you hear that, Dom? Hold on, I'm trying to adjust my fucking volume. I'm playing it through my phone. Can you hear it? I would ask the members of the jury and oh, no, is it? members of the court to keep in mind. Yes, as they come through on your end. I'm watching somebody else's stream. This is a police officer in the system. To not only keep that in mind during the sentencing, but my fucking internet's being stupid. I can't even fucking see if it's working. Would you see if you can hear it through my stream? I'm watching this other guy's stream to get to hear what's going on. Can you? Is it coming through his stream? It's coming through his stream, but he's in the front row. 
It may be because we're in the back. It may be because we're in the back. He's the one guy that's sitting over there. Oh, is that Kaufman? Yes. Because I didn't turn my fucking volume up on my stream to see. I think it's because of the voice system they're using. Yeah. No, Your Honor, you're still pointing. So I even have my volume all the way up, too. And I do, too. I think and it's just... I think the it's court were just refrain from taking note of the judge's pointing. Apparently, he is broken. Uh, the all right, well, maybe we can switch to the front. Mm, I'm telling them I need to make a. Yeah, can you go in his chat and say, "Hey, can we gotta try to"? Because I can't hear anything. Well, I don't even know if my sh my fucking internet's being stupid, or the Twitch is just being dumb right now. Um. Um. <laughs> that sounds like it hurt. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, right, Judge? Yeah, I think he just fell. I just asked if it's possible to make a courtroom chat so all of us can hear what he's saying. That goddamn light socket back there. Yeah, I mean, if we go into a, uh, in the, in T-Speak and just, everybody just mutes their mic and just has it to where we can just hear. He said no. Okay. Who is pushing a door popper? <laughs> Said may all have. Yeah, right. Yeah. Damn. Oh, no. The, the sheriff, Sergeant, asks if you can hear me, and uh, I think either Chief or uh, Jones said, unfortunately, we can hear you. I do, Your Honor, uh, but given the defense's opening, I don't believe they're going to go for the plea bargain. The okay. defense would have to confer with his uh, client, who is not present today with us in court. Hellcat's not in court. Hey, two seconds. Oh, he's still in custody. Check I under court and the Discord, and there will be a VC. If you are not, keep your mic muted. I got us a courtroom chat, dog. Yeah, because I can't hear shit. They're making it now. Because <laughs> I think there's a couple people who said they can't hear. Yeah. It's just it's just far away enough that's out of reach. Uh, yeah, proximity. There we go. There we go. All right, now you guys will be able to hear everybody, so apologize for that little. All right, thank you everybody for coming. Can everybody hear us better now? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Nice to see all your lovely faces. 
All right, if uh, anybody happens to come in, you guys in the audience, or if the judge or the jury sees anything, just be like, hey, somebody came in, get up, go talk to them in game, let them know where we are. Because they're okay. just gonna see a bunch of people just standing here, not talking, and people moving and things happening. That way people aren't freaked out. Thank you guys. Sorry for that. Oh, All right, God. let's get this shit on the road. Can we hold one what? second, please? Oh uh, yeah, of course. It's your car I'm missing after all. <laughs> hey, switch over to the uh, voice chat in courtroom one in the Discord server. Why do I hear a car alarm? Oh, it was AI. I Are you guys able to hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. I had to update push to talk. No worries. All right. Now that uh, that is settled, uh, DA, you want to let us know what your plea bargains were going to be and let it go on record. Sure, Your Honor. Uh, for the record, there was a plea deal uh, between the State Department, between the State and the defense, where the plea deal would state if they pled guilty to a misdemeanor of joyriding rather than having a GTA on their record or Grand Theft Auto or we are speaking on record, uh, having a Grand Theft Auto record. It would be a misdemeanor with a fine payable of $1,000. Jail time is time served. And unfortunately, in accordance with the Los Santos Police Department SOP, any kind of law infraction would result in termination. Uh, so he would still unfortunately lose his place and his badge with the LSP department. However, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office Sheriff has informed me and reached out to the DA's office that even with the misdemeanors being on his record, if he were to plead guilty to joyriding, <coughs> the BCSO would still take him back since he was previously a Blaine County Sheriff's Corporal. He would come in <coughs> as a rank of cadet, but would be required to do a mandated 40 hours of training involving all police aspects and he would not be allowed to um, rank up without completing those 40 hours and it would be entirely up to the Blaine County Sheriff's command whether or not he would receive any kind of rank at all after his training and I have also reached out to the defendant uh, former senior officer George Hellcat, and he just informed me he would be on in a couple of minutes. He is currently being held up at a situation uh, out of town, Your Honor. Kids, off the record, this is why you don't play on all the servers when you have people pull strings for you to have events. He's currently doing a barricade suspect. All right, cool. I'm going back on the record now. Thank you, Your Honor. That was the uh, plea deal for Mr. George Hellcat, should he accept it. But as I stated prior, uh, given the defense's opening, it does not seem like they would take it. And when I conferred with the defense in a one on one, he said he would have to talk to his client, who again has yet to show up to his court date. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge. Oh. Thank you for that. Uh, Jethro, if you want to take the stand and give your evidence and talk to the jury, and the bailiff will make sure that uh, 
they adhere to all of the rules in the courtroom and be non-biased. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, let the record show that uh, <clears throat> the plea deal as of right now is still on the table. However, I do need to consult with my client, of course. Um, but at this time, we will be proceeding as with a not guilty verdict from the from the, from the courtroom. Okay. If you want to go ahead and start into your evidence of why he is not guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Of course. Um, so, after doing extensive research on my client, Mr. George Hellcat, uh, he has <clears throat> was recently transferred from the Blaine County Sheriff's Office to the Los Santos Police Department. And under his previous endeavors with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, he had no incidents as far as I was aware of. Um, his personnel records, as far as I could tell, were pretty clean. No complaints, nothing of that nature. His DMV record has also been spotless. No speeding tickets, no arrests, no anything. His, uh, his record has been very clean since the time that he moved to the city. With that being said, of course, without him being present in order to give his full testimony, I am at this time unable to fully share into detail as to what occurred that night. I can provide a brief overview, however, I know that that is, would be considered hearsay as well. So without him being present, I'm unable to really go into the details of that night. I would really much like for him to be here so he can be called to the stand and um, questioning can begin. Okay, we will recall witnesses to the stand probably eh, give or take 10 minutes or so here before uh, we start calling witnesses and we'll hear from the district attorney again for some of his evidence and why he believes that these charges should stick. Thank you. <clears throat> if you want to take the uh, podium, DA? Yes, Your Honor. The state has entered multiple pieces of evidence from states evidence 1A the arrest of George Hellcat and sorry. I will be sharing sorry out of character off the record I will be sharing my screen that way everyone in here knows what the evidence is and the jury can see it as well because it should be like on a giant board but whatever then uh. still The state has also entered evidence 2A to, to, sorry, correction, and I don't know my letters today, from 2A to 2D, which is a various numbers of 911 calls and panic signals given from, given from George Hellcat or received about George Hellcat's cruiser at the time of his travel and events leading up to it pending from a jewelry store robbery at the Vangelicos down at Carcer Way and Rockford Drive at 7250 as well as a That's cute and all. I'm not using my PC. I'm using my tablet. So I can't share my screen. Apologies. The judge apparently has had a major headache and is unable to share his screen at this current time. The state will continue with the evidence and he can catch up. As well as a panic that was pushed 
at 7282 Los Santos Freeway involving a motorcycle vehicle accident with a head-on collision with another with a local's car while in a pursuit with a suspect. Various now one calls that were subpoenaed from the dispatching center vary from a LSPD car driving over the center lane of traffic or almost running people off the road. LSPD charger striking another vehicle. LSPD charger blowing a red light without the use of sirens. That was in Polito. And a LSPD charger recklessly driving, attempting to drive a local off of a road. So. And uh, let me stop you there, GA. Let's uh, reflect back on evidence 1A. <clears throat> now that the uh, jury and everyone can see the evidence here. Yes, Your Honor. The evidence one alpha is the arrest information. There's a copy of the arrest record for Mr. George Hellcat from the Los Santos Police Department with Police Chief Peter Longnuts, unit number 300, being the primary officer of the arrest. Uh, gives a summary of his accounts, what he sold, uh, what he saw, and he is here in court today to give us that recount of everything that he witnessed firsthand on a live body cam footage. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you... Yes, Your Honor. Would you point out anything significant in this police report? I can point out a lot of in, well, in my honest opinion, I'm not a police officer, so I can't point out anything technical in it. But at first glance of my knowledge of reading a summary of actions, I can account that a live body cam footage was used. That the most highest ranking person in the department was witnessing it. He reported to the he reported it to his deputy chief to have a witness there uh, the former officer Hellcat was attempting to operate a vehicle he was not certified for he was wit he was witness stealing objection it. hearsay please move on there are just multiple accounts in here of first hand viewing of these actions through a device that Officer Hellcat was wearing and that was recording live footage at the time. Do you have any of that footage and evidence? We do not as for some reason the state of San Andreas does not store body cam footage but only records live body cam footage and it has to be witnessed live at that moment that is happening. Okay. You're your Honor, the defense moves to strike all of that that was said that is not relevant to the report on the basis of hearsay. I will, I'll let you strike the body cam footage part out of that as hearsay. Your Honor, there, with all due respect, there's no evidence that states that uh, my client took out a vehicle that he was not uh, licensed to drive. Or however the uh, prosecution worded that. You're right. He was, not he was not certified to drive. He was attempting to take out a helicopter, which he is not certified to fly. He does not have, Officer Hellcat did not receive his air unit certification. He is not a qualified pilot. He has no reason to attempt to even get into a helicopter without a certified officer in that pilot seat. Understood. Thank you for that clarification. Mm hmm. Of course. All right. Um, you can go ahead and take your seat, and I will hear from. Death Row, and on the record, we did 
move the strike, everything in the report revolving around the use of a body cam as there is no footage in the courtroom with us today. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, um, any, everything that is in the report, uh, in the police report, is fine to keep within the record, but anything verbally said, I would I would move to strike that. So, um, I have several questions, of course, that we'll get to, but um, talking your honor uh if you would Hold pull on. that uh police report back up thank you sir so ladies and gentlemen of the court if you can turn your attention to the summary here there is several charges that of course are pending against my client there is also a summary notif or summary report also below stating that he was attempting to remove a helicopter and use that for transportation. Nowhere in the actual charges was there a charge for theft of, again, a vehicle. There is only one pending charge for Grand Theft Auto which I can assume, based off of the report, is that um, in the first line item, and I quote, it says, actively watched Officer Hellcat stealing a civilian car and then proceeding to go to Polito Bay Sheriff's Office. So there is only one charge currently for Grand Theft Auto. Would it be safe, safe to speculate that he should have received an additional charge for Grand Theft Auto if he really did take that helo? Your Honor, I make a motion that we recess for two minutes. I believe my client is here and ready to join us. Right. Court will be in recess for two minutes, bailiff. Discord, that's where everyone is. Hey, what's up, Miles? Hey. Um, am I in the right spot? Are you in the courtroom? Yes. I'm here inside the Discord. Do I need to get a new server, too? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will work on that. Sorry. Hey, 
Miles, where did you go? What do you mean? I'm here at the court now, at the courthouse. Crash hardcore. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, yep. And somehow I'm still in it. Excuse me? <laughs> All I'm gonna say is that it's quite interesting. <laughs> you know what I realize I should uh I could take yeah, I, I think we really need to get some in there for for, for future. Oh my god, I would so like right. this ever happen again. We have some on file. You wanna go back in? Right. We, I think we're good. Get in trouble. That was just over. Scoot. 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 Yeah. Easily. Welcome back. Oh, you bastard. I see that's, nine that's is. One, I see nine is four. Five, five, five. Technically, he shouldn't be in uniform. Hey, thanks for the smoke, big man. I can hear you in game, Jermaine. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, the police chief. Been gone for a, a yeah. while. I didn't know. Yeah, you, uh, I wasn't told. Yeah, can you tap back in your head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took him to baseball. No, I know, but I, I didn't know. you didn't tell me. Oh. I was not told. Okay. So I understand that. I would. Mom, I'm playing game? my game. Okay. Uh, I'll be AFK for a second, so if we have to rise, disregard me. Lieutenant Dixon, tap in. Thirty second warning. All right, all right, come on. All right, fuck it. Your bailiff is in the uh, jury room, just so you're aware, Judge. <laughs> I see him there. Who knows what he was doing in there. Oh my God. All right. So I'm going to walk back to the chambers and wait for the bailiff to have everyone stand. Yeah. I think he's having trouble with his Discord. I believe so. Yep, probably a push and talk thing. I had to fix mine earlier. All rise. Core's back in session. <laughs> the Honorable Judge, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, that. Sorry, I couldn't do that again. <laughs> All right, go ahead and sit down. Allow me to take my glasses off. Alright, joining us in the courtroom is the client of Jethro. Hellcat, please come up and introduce yourself and give your opening statement. Objection. Repetitive. The defense has already made an opening statement. There's no reason well, for the client fine. to... Make an opening we'll statement. Let's slide and we'll turn. hear the defense's statement, what he has to say. Hello, I'm George Hellcat, a former senior officer at LSPD. As of uh, a couple of days ago, I was suspended due to a uh, false arrest. I believe that uh, the officers uh, did, did wrong by not only. Um, for getting to put some of the charges in the 
arrest report, but uh, I've seen several other officers doing the exact same things that I'm being accused of. And I find it uh, very uh, unprofessional of them. And um, so here we are. Okay. Go ahead and uh, take your seat, and we'll pick back up. Uh, DA, is there anything that you would like to add? No, Your Honor, the plea deal is still on the table, should the defense take it. All right. Jethro, please uh, come up to the podium and let us know what your client has decided for the plea. Thank you, Your Honor. We will not be accepting the plea deal at this time. Okay. Thank you. Court will remain in session. We'll continue. Um, at this time, I would like to move on to reviewing more evidence, if there's any more uh, from me, either side. If you do not have any evidence to uh, submit into the courtroom at this time, Go ahead and jump up and down. Your Honor, the uh, state does as well. All right. State, go ahead and come on up. Your Honor, the state would like to put into evidence Supreme Court case United States versus Russell, 80 U.S. 623, as well as an expert we will be in a uh, excerpt, sorry, that we'll be putting that summarizes part of the Supreme Court case that was ruled in favor of Russell in this case. And it states the following, extraordinary and unseen occasions arise. However, beyond all doubt, in cases of extreme necessity in time of war or of immediate and impending public danger, in which private property may be impressed into the public service or may be seized and appropriated to public use or may Objection. Be... My client never stated that he um, seized for any type of public use or anything to that. We'll play it. Go ahead and continue may be impressed into public service or may be seized and appropriated to the public use or may even be destroyed without the consent of the owner. But the public danger must be immediate, imminent, and impending. And the emergency in the public service must be extreme and imperative. And such as will not admit a delay or a resort to any other source of supply. And the circumstances must be a such as imperatively require the exercise of that extreme power and respect to the particular property so impressed, appropriate, or destroyed. Once we get to defenses and witnesses, we can go in more detail. But you asked for evidence, and we are putting that into our evidence as well. And let that be states 3A to 3B. All right. And, uh, since the defense did not want to put it into their evidence, I will politely assist with that and be putting in states 4A. And that is a copy of the Los Santos Police Department's SOP. Inside the SOP, <clears throat> there is a part down in the disciplinary system. Correction, it's right above that. In section two, department policies, it is the policy called crime policies. And it states on slash off duty crime is prohibited while being employed within the department. If you are caught doing ODC on slash off duty crime, you'll be pub punished accordingly. Any arrests on your record will lead to an investigation and possible termination from the Los Santos Police Objection. I didn't know a client could object, Your Honor. 
Only the attorneys may object. Jethro, do you have an objection? No, Your Honor. Continue. That is all, Your Honor. That is all of the state's evidence that we wish to put forth today in this case. Thank you, Your Honor. Pre submitted evidence, uh, court would like to go on record and say that at the time when this court case was submitted, there were a few different pieces of evidence that came into the office with it. Um, court would like to call the attention to evidence 2A. That's going to be a panic unit. So those panic units are going to be from 320. And Your Honor, if I may, the state has already put into evidence the 911 calls as well as the panics under state 2A to 2D. 2A to 2D? Yes, Your Honor. State we will retract the last statement. Um, the court did reach out to Gator Jones asking for a statement, a subpoena. Um, he could not be here with us and he did not submit a letter to us in time. Um, on a sidebar here, Gator Jones will be issued a bench warrant. Um, the defense attorney, you want to come up? Court has a few questions for you. My bad. Jethro, you can sit down. District attorney is who we meant to call to the uh, podium. Coming, Your Honor. So it can either be taken to the stand or you can just take the podium. Court has a few questions. So you can either take the podium or the stand. The court has a few questions for you regarding regarding the uh, evidence that was submitted. Yes, Your Honor. All right. The state has a few questions about the 911 calls that were submitted into evidence. Mr. Gator Jones, the, we were. Your Honor, the state did not put any 911 calls in. Those were put in during the pre hearing that the state and the defense counsel were not privy of. You did say that you would submit that into evidence, did you, or did you not? No, Your Honor, I did not say I would put the 911 calls in. But we already went over this. You talked about them and read them word for word. I talked about the 7250 cars away panic, Your Honor, not any 911 calls. You did talk about the 911 calls. Sure, Your Honor. All right, let me refer back to... Uh... We'll take a break, and um, I'll talk with the bailiff on that one. Did he? S did he even put those into evidence? Because I swear he did. Okay. I'm so fucking confused. No. Not at all. Okay, let's go back up there. Okay, so... When the court was talking about the evidence that had been submitted, um, we were told that the evidence was from 2A to 2D. Are we there yet? For Are we there panic yet? And... Are we there yet?
feel like I've been in here for two days. The state did not submit them. They were pre-submitted with paperwork. That is correct. But correct, you Your did Honor. speak on them. Yes, Your Honor, I did speak on them. The state did not submit them. Okay. Please go up to the podium as we ask you a few questions about these. Yes, Your Honor. Does it sound like Gator Jones was also speeding behind the officer on how quick these... Your Never Honor, I'm going to have to object to you. Uh, that is speculative. I will not speculate as to what another person... Okay. At any time, did LSPD report how fast the officer was going? No, Your Honor. Speeds of any vehicle were not mentioned in any report or of any vehicle GPS low jack. Okay. That's all we have. Do you want to call your first witness? Absolutely, Your Honor. <clears throat> Prosecution calls Deputy... Ch or, correction, he is not here. He's not available to be with us today. Police Chief Peter Longnuts to the stand. The judge will swear you in. Oh, no, the bailiff will swear, swear him in. A police chief, that's the county clerk's desk. There you go, chief. All right. Chief, can you state your name and occupation for the record, please? Name is... Give me two seconds, sorry. Peter Longnuts, I am the chief of L LSPD. All right, thank you, Chief. All right, so the reason why you're called in here today, uh, as you know, uh, one of the officers were, under your command was arrested by yourself and your deputy chief for multiple counts of vehicle infractions as well as a felony charge of Grand Theft Auto uh, that took place in the Polito Bay area as well as multiple highway sections leading to the Los Santos jurisdiction line and pass that into the city of Los Santos back to the Mission Road Police Department. Uh, could you recount for the court your view of events of that night that is being called into question, please. I went and was looking at body cams for everyone that was on duty at the time. Um, I looked at Mr. Hellcat's body cam and watched him pull a civilian out of their car to drive down to the Polito Sheriff Station, which then when he got there, he pulled out a helicopter. I then told him not he's not allowed to drive one so he put it away and then grabbed a I believe it was a charger out of the um garage there. All right. Um, thank you, Chief. At any point did do you believe hold on. Sorry, district attorney. Do you believe or do you know? I I was saying believe for the car. I don't know what make and model the car was. I'll let that go on record. Continue. May Thank you, Judge. At any point of the night, Chief, did you... Or, let me rephrase. At any point throughout these events, did you ever inform the officer of any other modes of transportation he could take? Yes, I said he could have took a taxi. 
All right. And did at any point he tell you why he was in Toledo Bay and outside the Los Santos Police Department jurisdiction? He he went to the Toledo Bay Hospital for um for medical. All right. Thank you. The uh the state doesn't have anything else further for the chief, your honor. Defense witness. Chief, if you will stay up here. Uh, defense, if you uh, would like to interview. First, on uh, your honor, I'd like to make a request. I believe that my client has something that he would like to submit into evidence that I currently have no working knowledge of. Objection. This, the, def the state would need time to review this evidence that we put in. And the defense has no knowledge of any evidence that's put in. It is failure on the client and the defense to input any evidence this late into the trial. Judge? Please give me one second. I will rule this under suppression of evidence. Um, please submit that to the county clerk. For all um, parties to review and then... Judge, suppression of evidence states that the evidence will not be used in the court. So are we not using this evidence in court or are we using this evidence? The evidence will not be used in court. That's why it is being submitted to the... Uh, court clerk. We are not using it in this court case, Judge. The district attorney's office does not want to touch evidence. It can still be turned in as evidence as long as it is not used in court. If you would like to still submit it to my clerk, he may, but it will not be brought into court. And that is going on the record. That it is not allowed to be used in court. Your Honor, I'm I make a motion that we continue with this case, and um, that ev if that evidence is not being able to be used in this court case, I make a formal recommendation we continue on, and that information or evidence can be submitted at a later time and date. Um, a rule court will remain in session. Um. Court has already gone on too long for us to do a continuancy, and your client and everyone else has the right to a speedy trial and oh. to be fair. Understood. All right. Defense, go ahead and proceed with questioning. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Chief, can you provide the court with a very brief overview? of your responsibilities within your role of the LSPD? Brief would be to make sure everyone is following their guidelines and isn't doing anything they're not supposed to be doing. Okay, so the brief overview of your role and responsibility of the Chief of Police of the Los Santos Police Department is to make sure that everyone is following their responsibilities and the rules that you, I assume, have set forth for your department. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Let the record show that that was the only responsibility that was noted by the police chief uh, in his current role. So, Chief, how long have you been overseeing the operations of the LSPD? from the 28th. Okay. 
Chief, were you on duty of uh, the night of the incident that is in question here today? At the time, I was not on duty. I was doing paperwork in my office. Okay, so you were doing paperwork in your office at the time that this incident occurred, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, Chief, do you know how many officers were on duty that night? I'm sure you guys are easy and can send me the task. I, I am not aware of the exact amount. Gotcha. It was more than you and my client, correct? Yes. Okay. Were there any other officers um, from other departments that you can recall? I believe there was one or two sheriffs on. Okay. So at the time of the incident, you said that you were in your office completing paperwork. So, for the entire duration of the shift, did you remain off duty? Not the entire. Okay, so when did you go on duty? I was on duty for, I believe, an hour or two before I started doing paperwork, and then an hour or half an hour to an hour after. Okay, so you were on duty for an hour. You went off duty to do paperwork in your office. And how long did that off duty spell last? Is that what you were saying was half an hour to an hour? No, I went back on duty at, for half an hour to an hour after I was off duty. Okay, how long were you off duty? I do not recall. All right, so, Chief. At what point did you begin to review active body camera footage? After I finished my paperwork. Okay, so were you still off duty at that time? No. Okay, so you finished your paperwork, you went back on duty, and you started reviewing body camera footage? Yes. Okay, but earlier you stated that at the time of the incident, you were reviewing paperwork in your office. I, I was doing paperwork in my office, but then after I went up to the dispatch center in, in the MRPD and lo was looking at the body cams. Okay. Well, we will, we will we'll continue on then. So when you went on duty and you were reviewing the body camera footage, is what did you first see? I saw Hellcat pull a civilian out of their car. So when you're reviewing body camera footage that is, I assume, live streamed, um, and of course it would probably have some type of delay, uh, Was is there any audio that is provided during that? Or is it just visual? Just visual. Okay, so you couldn't hear anything that was said between the person behind the body camera and the individual that was removed from the vehicle. Yeah, I could not hear nothing, anything. Okay. So, <clears throat> Chief, earlier in the shift, there was what appeared to be a silent alarm that went off from uh, Vangelico's jewelry store. Were you on duty for that incident or no? I do not recall. Okay. Chief, were you on duty at the time that my client set his panic alarm off? No. For all four panic alarms? I was in my office doing paperwork. I didn't get any panic alarms when they went off. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious as they were spread out over different time frames. If I'm just trying to establish a timeline here of when you went from being on duty to 
off duty. So, Chief, I'll wrap this up. Um, but <clears throat> I've got a couple more questions for you. In the supervisor section of the arrest record, you also signed your name. And I assume, of course, that this would mean that I assume that you signed due to the fact that there was nobody above you. However, I'm curious, did someone else review this report before it was submitted? Yes, my deputy chief Hayes. Okay, so why would he not sign it? I honestly have no idea. So, Chief, in the report, it states that you suspended my client pending uh, investigation. However, I was made aware that you have actually fired him from your department. Is that true? No, he was suspended. Your Honor, objection. Unable to... Technically suspend. Why couldn't he just go off duty and stay off duty without pay? Hold on. They were talking in the back. Uh, Dish attorney, if you would still use your uh, microphone. My, that's my fault. Apologize. Objection, Your Honor. The uh, reason for firing is due to city workings. We're unable to control that. Only way to suspend without pay is to fire to ensure the personnel who is suspended does not receive any kind of paycheck. And so it doesn't try to work around the system and go on duty. We are out of that control. That is a city issue, not a clientele issue. Uh, uh, okay, I can understand I'll, that. I'll accept it. However, in but I will please please let the record show that in his personnel file, there is a comment that says fired. So just let the record show that while the city may not be able to fully issue a suspension without pay, his personnel record does state that he has been fired. I'll let that go on record. Thank you, Ron. Chief, a couple more things. Um, in your department, standard operating procedures, um, Your Honor, if you could pull that up and head to um, Section 2, Subsection uh, Stand by. a little bit farther down. Yep. Uh, Would you like me to go a little further down there, uh, defense? Yes, please. Uh, hold right there, please. So, Chief, if you refer to your um, department standard operating procedures under Section 2, the subsection labeled as crime policies, it says, and please let the record note also that Section 2 is labeled as department policies, if I'm uh, re recalling that correctly. Um, your Honor, if you could shift up just so I could yep department policies is what the title of section 2 is so if you can go back down to the subsection of crime policies 
your crime policy states that off or on-duty crime is prohibited while being employed within the department. If you're caught doing off-duty crime, you will be punished accordingly. That's a pretty uh, generic and pretty straightforward policy that you have set forth for your department. The next line item also says, under the same subsection, any arrest on your record will lead to an investigation and possible termination from the Los Santos Police Department. Chief, did you complete an investigation on my client? The investigation was at the time to be done. Chief? It is a yes or no question. I did not personally. Chief, has there been anybody that has completed an investigation on my client? I do not know. Thank you. Also let the record show that if you um, slide down a little bit more in that department policy, section three is titled the disciplinary system. Okay, so if we look at the definition of the term policy. So if we're going back to, if we refer back to section two, it says department policies. Policy is a course or principle of action that is adopted or proposed by a government party, business, or individual, which is what you are. So it is something, an action that you expect that your employees partake of. Okay. A disciplinary action policy identifies and standardizes procedures for responding to an incident that goes against company policy. A well-written disciplinary action policy will clearly state your company's rules, my apologies, your company's rules and the consequences if these rules are broken. Under your disciplinary section, it says nothing about an arrest, and it says nothing about that arrest leading to a termination. Chief, I've got a couple, just one or two more questions for you, and I'll be done. When you witnessed my client, or what you suppose to be my client, behind the um, body camera, did you make contact with him? I did after he got in the helicopter. And how did you make contact? Was that cell phone? Was that radio, text message? What? How was that? It was over the radio. Okay. So, at that time, you made contact with him, and my client proceeded to get a, as you would state, you can't recall the model, but you believed it was a charger vehicle out from the department. There was what appeared to be several 911 calls after that. Do you recall those? Yes, I do. Okay, so at 10.56 p.m., 911 call records indicate a 911 call stating, and I quote, I just saw a charger blow a red light without the use of sirens. It was an LSPD charger in Polito. This call had a GPS ping of 1036, which is at the intersection of Great Ocean Highway and Polito Board Boulevard. Chief, did you respond to this 911 call? No, I did not, as it is not in my jurisdiction. Okay, all right. That's a good answer. Because here's what I want you to also reference back to, if I can find this real quick. Chief, 
the state announced a jurisdictional policy on 429 of 2023 that states in very high level generic terms, the BCSO or the Blaine County Sheriff's Office would cover everything north of the city limits while LSPD would cover everything south. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. In your LSPD standard operating procedures dated 427 of 2023, section 2, subsection noted jurisdiction policies, it states, and I quote, if you're entering county jurisdiction, you must announce yourself over the radio. It doesn't say that you cannot respond in your policies. It just says that if you enter county jurisdiction, you must state your intentions over the radio. So why did you not respond to the first 911 call? That the SOP does need to be updated. That was written before the jurisdiction announcement was put out. Again, your department standard operating procedures dated 427 of 2023, signed by both yourself and the assistant police chief. Section 2, subsection labeled radio communication policy states, and I quote, um, strike that from the record, I'm sorry. I'm stricken. Defense, are you uh, reviewing some of your documents there? Yes, one, just one second, please. Chief, last question for you. Again, several 911 calls. At 1057, 911 call indicated, and I quote, LSPD charger driving recklessly, attempted to drive a local off the road. This call had a GPS ping at 1000, which is on Sonora Freeway, just outside of the Up and Adam Diner. So it's approximately a mile and a half from the original caller. The third 911 call came in at 1059. 911 call records indicate that a 911 call was made. And I quote, LSPD car just drove over the center lane of traffic and almost ran me off the road. This call had a GPS ping of 4,000, which is on Sonora Freeway, southbound close to the prison. Distance between this 911 call and the second one is 2.75 miles away. The final call at 11 p.m. 911 call records indicate that a 911 call was made stating, I was just struck by LSPD charger. This call had a GPS ping of 72H7, which is on Los Santos Freeway, southbound close to the casino. Chief, did you respond to that one? No, I did not. Were you on duty at that time? I was. Why did you not respond to the, that last 911 call? I was still at, in my off, well, technically in the changing room getting into uniform. And then there were still other officers that could have responded to it that were on duty in the cars that were out. I thought earlier you could not recall any officers that were on duty. No, there was officers on duty. I can't recall who or how many. Okay. 
So the last 911 call was made within your jurisdiction. Is that correct? Yes. Do you recall if anybody responded to that? I believe no officers did. Chief, earlier you stated that your role, brief description of your roles and responsibilities is to oversee your officers and make sure that they are doing what they are supposed to do. I believe as a law enforcement officer, upholding the laws, serving and protecting the people of the state also falls under that description that you failed to mention. There was a citizen that made a 911 call on your watch that first you didn't respond to saying that it first off in, involved an LSPD charger. So not only was it a civilian of this state who also could have been an officer that was involved in a motor vehicle accident, you failed to respond to that. With that being said, With that being said, Chief, I believe that this should and could count as abandonment. Nothing further, Your Honor. Guilty. What? I appreciate that. Uh, so much. State, do you have any final questions for Chief over here? Yes, Your Honor. Actually, uh, the state does. All right, go ahead and proceed. Uh, Your Honor, if you could uh, pull up the LSPD SOP uh, for suit policy. Please and thank you. You're just under jurisdiction. Okay. It's going to take me a minute to find out. I'm not used to this LSPD. Right there, Your Honor. So, Chief, you were previously asked by the defense in regards to jurisdiction lines. You heard a lot recently about jurisdiction this, jurisdiction that. Well, yes, jurisdiction was implemented statewide. And while, yes, your policy was made prior to this jurisdiction policy, and while, yes, your SOP does have a jurisdiction policy that you must enter, you must announce yourself over the radio upon entering county jurisdiction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. It also states in your pursuit policy that when you enter, you still have to announce yourself. But if you look at the very back part of there, if you could, Chief, could you read the final blurb in your suit policy? I don't have our SOP in front of me at this time. Not that's fine. I will happily give you my copy if the judge will allow it. Proceed. Please look at the live. For the love of God. It's there for a reason. Judge, if you could lower it down a bit more. You're blocking the point that I'm talking about. Sorry, bigger screen. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. So, Chief, if you could, 
uh, looking at the copy of the SOP that I have given you. Please read the last bulleted point within the pursuit policy. If your pursuit enters county's jurisdiction, only the primary should stay in the pursuit until I cannot pronounce that word. I apologize. But should allow the county units to take primary. All city units may stay attached if the county units are not available to take over or if a active supervisor approves. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I'm just going to take that copy back real quick. Thank you very much. Chief, to the best of your knowledge, was there an active pursuit leading into the county that night? In the, no. During the time of the events? No, there wasn't. So, to the best of your knowledge, was there a reason for there to be a, a Los Santos Police Department officer to be up in the Blaine County Sheriff's Office jurisdiction? No. Thank you, Your Honor. Nothing further. That means we can go home, right? Shut up. Fucking Your Honor. Defense, do you have anything else to add? Yes, Your Honor. So, this is final round of questioning for this witness, by the way. Understood. So, Chief, my client was involved in multiple panics, uh, panic calls. He was involved in a situation that, in my apologies, my client was involved in a situation that warranted several panic units while you were off duty at that at the time of the panic defense you uh cut out my apologies while you were off duty at the time of the panic There was four, I believe, panicked unit panics toggled, two at seventy two fifty and two at seventy two eighty two. So with that being said, in your department SOPs it states, and I quote, the panic button is to be used when your life is in danger and you need immediate backup. So my client must have felt that his life was in immediate danger. And after speaking with my client, he was, he advised me that there was some incidents that happened and warranted for him to go to a medical center. The final panic, he was shot. My question to the court as a whole is why was my pan why was my client transported to a county medical center over five miles away when there was a level one trauma center at Pillbox Hill less than a mile away? Nothing further. Hey Judge, you just made that panic thing a footer. Please put it back into the main body I'm, of that. I'm fixing it. Thank you. Stand by. All right. Uh, Chief, you may have your... I mean, you may resume your seats. Take your seats. Um... District Attorney, you may call your next witness. The state would like to call Captain John Gray of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office to the stand, please, Your Honor. All right. Did they I lose the bailiff? They missing the bailiff. Hold on. He's not around. Bailiff. There's somebody creeping outside, though. I do see that. 
Great look. All right. Cool. Drugs fun and done. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, the uh, nothing but the truth, to help your white ass? Yes. Objection. Right. You're under oath. Proceed. Captain, can you please state your full name and occupation for the court, please? Captain John Gray, BCSO. And how long have you been with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office? Six months, I do believe. Okay, thank you. Captain John Gray, you are here today because you received a subpoena from the district attorney's office, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, during the night, or rather the events in question, were, did you have to be on duty that during these times? I was. I was uh, active dispatch. Okay. And you were active dispatch that entire time? I was not. I was active dispatch, and then I switched over and was on duty with the uh, sheriff's department. Okay. Can you explain to me and the court what it is as what it is you do as an active dis I dispatch uh, 911 calls as they come in to uh, LEO units that are in the area. Okay, and are there any other jobs or responsibilities you have in the dispatching center? Um, I do dispatch for panic alarms, uh, officer distress alarms as well, and uh, I do, I can see the live map and whatnot. Okay. Uh, can you explain what your jobs and responsibilities are for the blank? I, um, when I am on, I'm active supervisor. I respond to calls that require a supervisor to respond to. Also, I um, train the uh, cadets as they come in and I oversee the uh, units as a share the uh, oversee the sheriff units okay thank you uh, so while you're on duty as a dispatcher uh, since we have a panic at a jewelry store where is there any calls that got sent out to that jewelry store during your time as a dispatcher no that okay. uh all the all these uh incidents in question happened after i uh went off duty as dispatch okay thank you uh so then court would like to motion and strike that he held the job as a dispatcher during these events Your Honor, the his jobs that he holds during his time on shift reflect to his character and his reliability and credibility as Proceed. and his uh, knowledge of what should be said over the radio traffic as well as said over what gets put out over radio traffic in terms of sending off. Proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. So while you're on duty as a acting supervisor, or let me rephrase, as a supervisor of the Blaine County Sheriff, uh, did you respond to any calls at the Vangelico's Jewelry Store, 7250 Parser Way and Rockford Drive? I'm sorry, did I respond to the jewelry store? Is that what you asked? Correct. Did you respond to the jewelry store? Do you respond to a call at the jewelry store at 7250 Carson Way in Rock? I did not because I did not have my car out of the garage. I was in the process of getting it out. Did you respond to the panic that happened on Los Santos Freeway? 
I was currently en route, and then uh, by the time I got there, there was nobody around. Are you aware of what happened as to why nobody was around? I was not. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a captain and a supervisor of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, are you aware of this jurisdiction? I am. Okay. With that jurisdiction policy in mind, when the 911 calls came in for 1036 Great Ocean Highway, 1000 Sonora Freeway, as well, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as 4000 Sonora Freeway. Did you or any Blaine County Sheriff's Office, sir, respond to any of these 911 calls? I I was responding to them. Um, like I said, I was down in the city. Uh, by the time I got there, they they were uh, the caller was not on scene. Um, due to me not exceeding uh, speed limits. I was not responding code three. I was responding code two, um, which does not require me to exceed uh, speed limits. Okay. And you said you were in the city as a Blaine County Sheriff's Office officer following that jurisdiction policy that your command sent out and as a supervisor that you adhere to the policy, can you explain to why you were in the city that day? So I was dispatching at MRPD. That's where the dispatch uh, area is. That's where I, uh, when I left there, that's where I spawned my car. Um, with the jurisdiction in place, it depends on how many uh, LSPDF, LSPD officers are on duty in the city Blaine County sheriffs are allowed to patrol in the city or correction or is allowed to patrol statewide um, once there's a certain amount of uh, officers on for the LSPD then uh, Blaine County Sheriff goes uh, back up into their jurisdiction okay thank you nothing further your honor uh, defense witness Please take the podium. Thank you. Mr. Gray, is it a fair statement to say that you knew the client in question from previous from his previous employment at the Blaine County Sheriff's Office? Yes. And during that time that he was with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, where are you aware of any potential uh, opportunities, altercations, anything that would violate policies or anything that my client had done? As far as my knowledge, uh, when he was uh, a sheriff or when he was with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, he followed um, all the guidelines and he, he, uh, there was no issues with him on uh, in my department, well, in the sheriff's department. Okay. All right. And, of course, let the record state that Mr. Gray was, is not the department head of, of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, and the sheriff could not be here uh, to represent him as a previous sheriff's deputy. Um, but from Mr. Gray's knowledge, working knowledge of Mr. my client, just – Please let the record show that. Nothing further. Does uh, state anything to add? No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Gray, thank you for your cooperation. You may uh, take your seat. At this time... Would the state like to call LCAT to the podium? Yes, Your Honor. The state would like to call George Hellcat to the stand. Uh, 
Hellcat to the to the left of me. So. All right, mm -hmm. Mr. Hellcat, place your right hand on that Bible over there. Do you swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, and the whole truth, so help your white ass? Yes, sir. Objection! Alright, you are now under oath. Home. Okay. That means we all get to go home. <laughs> state, right, can you, you may proceed. Can you state your name and occupation for the uh, record, please? My name is George Hellcat. I, uh, my occupation, uh, Los Santos Police Department. Um, I've been terminated, so currently unemployment. Okay, thank you. And how long have you been a law enforcement officer with the state of San Andreas? Uh, several months. I don't recall when I originally joined. Uh, it's been at least two to three months. Okay. As a law enforcement officer, and if uh, the record does show correctly of roster and employment history, you were a senior officer, correct? Uh, that is correct. And before that, you were a corporal with the Blaine County Sheriff's? That is also correct. And those are both fairly high-ranking positions in terms of responsibility and knowledge. That is correct. So it's safe to say as a relatively high-ranking officer of knowledge and responsibility, you're familiar with vehicle codes, correct? That would be correct. Do you know vehicle code section 21055? Uh, not off the top of my head, sir. So, for the, let the record show for the court, vehicle code, California vehicle code section 21055 is, co is for officer using lights and sirens, also known as code 3. Within vehicle code section 2105, it states that the officers must use lights and sirens under the following. Vehicle is being driven in response to emergency call. Off uh, senior officer Hellcat, was a emergency call being taking place at your time going from the Polito uh, Bay Sheriff's Office to Los Santos? Say that again. Was an emergency call taking place while you were driving from the Blaine County Sheriff's Office in Polito Bay to the Los Santos Police Department, MRPD? Negative. It also states an officer is engaged in rescue operations. Were you engaged in a rescue operation? That is, uh, or no, sorry. It also states officer is in immediate pursuit of an actual suspect or suspect violating of the law, a suspected violating the law. Were you in an active pursuit of a suspect or somebody suspected of violating the law? No, sir. It also states officer responding to, but not returning from a fire alarm. Was there a fire that you were at? Negative. Okay, thank you. It also goes on to state that code three is authorized by a factor of immediate danger to the and public safety. As we were made aware in the evidence that was submitted, you pressed your panic button multiple times throughout that night, correct? That is correct. So it's safe to say that you, as an officer, felt that you were in immediate danger or the public was in That is correct. Okay. So during that time of you traveling back, when there were 911 calls made of a LSPD charger, which would mean an LSPD officer is driving from Polito Bay, which is, as we know, in Blaine County, back to Los Santos to the MRPD station. There are multiple 911 calls made of a recklessly driving LSPD. If I'm going to read a couple, uh, after I read it, if you could, please just respond yes or no. Okay? 
Okay. Code 3 is authorized by the factors such as immediate danger to an officer or public safety is. The emergency officer needs help. Was there an officer in need of help? No. An officer needs emergency assist that is life-threatening. Was an officer in immediate life-threatening? No. Officer needs code 3 cover, which in this terms would be a felony. No. A signal 88 was called. Was there an active shooter of any kind? No. An LEO agency is needed to assist with the... Was there a fire taking place? No. So there is no reason, besides what was previously stated of medical treatment, to be driving recklessly through, this, through highways and freeways from Blaine County to Los Santos. That is correct. Okay. <clears throat> Could you go into detail of your account of the events that took place at 7250 Carcer Way? Yes. All right, if you could please go into detail for the court. Okay, so I was on patrol and received a 911 call stating that there was an armed robbery at the jewelry store. I then responded. when Once arriving on scene, I saw a black four-door Chevy square body truck uh, where I then approached uh, with my AR unracked. And as I approached, I was engaged in a firefight with three enemies or suspects, correction. And uh, they started opening fire on me where I was then shot multiple times in the vest. And then I believe Officer 301 arrived on scene, was also shot. And I believe he pressed his panic button. I'm not certain on that. Um, and then the suspects then fled in their vehicle where I then was able to take off my vest, get back in my car, and chase after. I grabbed another vest and continued in the pursuit where it led to Los Santos Freeway, where I was then struck with three bullets from the pickup truck in the upper left shoulder, where I went down and pressed my panic button. I was then transported to Polito Hospital. I don't know why the ambulance took me there versus the trauma center that was here. And uh, I then got released from the hospital, went to the Polito station, grabbed a vehicle, and headed on my way back into jurisdiction. Nothing further, Your Honor. That's my line. Um, so it was noted that in the live body cam footage that your police chief was reviewing that you were taking a civilian out of a vehicle and stealing their car. Could you elaborate on? So once I was released from the hospital, uh, the station was like four or five blocks down the street. So I asked a civilian that was at a stoplight if I could uh, take his car and he was going to get in the passenger seat. And then I drove to the station where I was trying to attempt to find the garage. Um, and I accidentally uh, ended up with a helicopter where I then put the helicopter back in storage, uh, grabbed an 09 Dodge Charger where I then drove back into my jurisdiction where I was requested by 300 to report to station. You stated in your recent testimony that you stopped the civilian and asked them if they could give you a ride. But I'm unclear as to how a ride in a passenger seat can be misconstrued as what is being claimed as Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto under Penal Code 487 Delta 1 states to take someone else's vehicle worth $950 plus without permission, with intent to deprive owner of the vehicle. And while I may be a man of law, I can understand that as what we commonly know as a carjacking gone into taking a vehicle 
which we all know would be considered Grand Theft Auto. You take the vehicle away, you don't come back. My question for you then, Mr. Hellcat, is if live body cam was being reviewed at the time and your chief of police, in his testimony that he gave today, he stated he saw you grab the civilian out of a car and drive in his car, drive in their car. Sorry for, apologies, Your Honor, for assuming the gender of a civilian. Um, how does one go from asking for a ride to removing a civilian from a vehicle and driving away in their vehicle? Mr. Hellcat. Okay. As I formally stated, I asked if I could borrow the vehicle and therefore he got in the passenger seat and I drove to station where I then picked up my charger and allowed him to get back in his car and take off. Okay. Um, for the court's record, I would like to refer back to United States versus Russell, 80 U.S. 623, and back to that blurb that is an expert excerpt of said Supreme Court case, United States uh, versus Russell, 80 U.S. 13 Wall 623, 1871. That states, in cases of extreme necessary in time of war okay, or of immediate stop danger, stopping. Got a question from the uh, court. What year was this court case that you were referencing? Uh, the, it's 1871, Your Honor. It is still a Supreme Court case of the United States, of which San Andreas is a part of. Is it not, Your Honor? No, I was just asking. Okay. May I continue, Your Honor? Continue. Thank you. In cases of extreme necess necessity, in time of war, or of immediate and impending public danger in which private right, guys, I apologize if I'm not talking. Service, I'm just being quiet while this is going on. Hopefully, use. we'll be back. Mr. Hellcat, as a law enforcement officer with we'll the LSPD in Hopefully, this will pick up soon. Are you not a public servant? I am. And therefore, you work as, under public service, correct? That is correct. So, at any point when you were, in this case, commandeering the vehicle and taking ownership of the vehicle were was it a time of war no was the public in immediate and impending danger no nothing further your honor defense attorney jethro defense uh, the state has to pee We will Continue. raise that for 45 seconds. Thank God. I want to go home. We've been on fire for six days straight. I bet I will. It might be stiff. I don't know about the stern. Stay back. Sorry. Stay apologizes, Your Honor. It was a very long 45 minutes of not leaving. Yeah, three, you may approach the uh, podium. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Hellcat, you stated uh, in your testimony just a few minutes ago that you received a 911 call to a jewelry store robbery in progress at Vangelico's. You arrived on scene, saw three armed assailants, and can you tell me what they were armed with? They were armed with fully automatic weapons of mass destruction. Mr. Hellcat, did they open fire Objection, on you? Objection, Your Honor. What are you objecting? A 
WMD is classified as anything that can cause mass destruction to the public. I am under, is he saying that they had fully automatic nukes or fully oh, automatic yeah, bioweapons? Elaborate on your uh, weapons of mass destruction. They oh. were fully automatic submachine guns and assault rifles with over 150 round magazines. Thank you for that. Continue. Uh, once I saw them pop the corner, they opened fire on me, where I was then struck with multiple bullets to the vest. Okay, so, Mr. Hellcat, you stated that they opened fire on you at Vangelico's, correct? That is correct. All right, and if we all know, Vangelico's in that area is a very nice area of Los Santos. It's also very populated. That is correct. With them opening fire, all three assailants opening fire with fully automatic weapons, I personally could see that being a weapon of mass destruction, potentially causing great bodily harm to a mass amount of people. That is correct. So, Mr. Hellcat, you stated that you were shot in the vest. And I'm assuming that you were rendered unconscious for a amount of time. Uh, once you regained consciousness, again, following your testimony, you got in your vehicle, put on a new vest, and you attempted to chase said assailants, correct? That is correct. So, in the area of where they began open firing on you again was on a high highway, correct? That is correct. Do you remember how many lanes of travel that was? Uh, it was four, uh, two facing northbound, two facing southbound. We were in the southbound lane traveling northbound uh, where he then TC'd with another vehicle and... I rolled up behind him to try and block him in when I was open-fired on again. So they open-fired on a heavily populated uh, interstate highway. That is correct. So when you were shot again, um, county medical transported you again to Polito. We're not going to rehash all of that. But... I would like the record to show that there was no audio, per the chief's testimony earlier tonight, there was no audio heard during the live account of my client's body camera footage. So, we can... the. All of that to say is that the chief is most likely assuming that my client was stealing that person's vehicle when he very well and very good, he very well could have borrowed the vehicle, the passenger, he got the owner of the vehicle, got in the passenger seat, rode with him to the police center or the sheriff's office. With that being said, going back to the United States versus Russell, it says public danger must be immediate, imminent, and impending. Three armed assailants, two different locations, a very heavily, heavily populated foot traffic area in the city of Los Santos, multiple shots were fired, potentially putting the public in grave danger. There, also on the highway, again, shots fired by untrained assailants with fully automatic weapons, once again putting the general public in safety or in danger. My apologies.
with that also being said, briefly, I would like to recall the 911 calls that could account for some of the reckless driving. So again, let's go back to what we are being charged with. Okay, so we're being charged with multiple traffic violations. Uh, Your Honor, if you could pull up that arrest record, multiple traffic violations as well as the felony charge of Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, which is a felony charge, one count, reckless driving, four counts, failure to obey a traffic sign, one count, failure to stop at a stop sign, one count, failure to stop at a red light, one count. Okay, that is one, two, three infractions, one misdemeanor, one felony. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a minute, but the 911 calls were made by a Gator Jones. Upon further investigation of Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones was arrested previously by the Los Santos Police Department, where they charged him with five felonies on one arrest. Objection, relevance. If you allow me to finish I'll allow questioning. I'll see where it's going. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Jones was arrested five felony accounts. On this one arrest, this was the most felony accounts that he has on his record today. It's quite possible Mr. Jones was searching for some type of retaliation to an LSPD officer, which is why if you look at the call records and the 911 the time speculation get to the point please if you look at the times if you look at the mileage he in fact was chasing my client my client very well could fear for his life seeing that someone is chasing him which could warrant reckless driving i'll also note on the arrest record Charge number one, Grand Theft Auto, is a citation release. Charge number two, reckless driving, also citation release. Charge number three, failure to obey a traffic sign is a recognized release. Charge four, failure to stop at a stop sign again is a recognized release. Charge number five is also a recognized release. Why was my client jailed? Why? On this arrest record, does the jail time not account for the jail time that was wrote in, wrote in the summary? Mr. Hellcat, from my knowledge of your record, you have advanced pretty well and pretty quickly within the ranking structure of both the BCSO well, just the BCSO leading up into your transfer of LSPD. Is that correct? That would be correct, sir. So one could state that you are a upstanding officer of the law that does what they're supposed to do, upholds the law, and does what's right. That is correct. Let the record note that this is the only charge on my client's record. Nothing further at this time. State, do you have anything to add? Yes, Your Honor. Please approach the uh, podium. Officer Hellcat, are you a are you a firearms expert? Are you certified by the state of San Andreas to be as a firearms expert? I would say yes. You would say yes, or you are. It's a yes or no question, sir. Yes. So you're certified by the state of San Andreas to be able to say without a reason of a doubt that they were in fact firing 150 rounds at you from one weapon. Is that correct? That is correct. 
your honor, I move for a charge of perjury had against Officer Hellcat due to the fact that he is only a police officer within the Los Santos Police Department and not a certified technician within the crime scene investigation firearms division and has no training and no degree in forensics. Rejected. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, defense, do you have any questions? N no, Your Honor, I do not. Okay, you can take your seat. Thank you, Your Honor. State, let's hear uh, your closing arguments. State, can you approach the uh, podium and give your closing arguments? Apologies, Your Honor. Uh, in closing, for members of the jury, I'm going to face you directly since this is towards you. We have heard testimonies today from the Los Angeles Police Department, Lane County Sheriff's Office. You have seen evidence of 911 calls, panics. You have seen cases of Supreme Court. You have heard testimonies stating that police officers don't know their vehicle codes. You have heard testimonies of police officers agreeing that they were not in their right. You have heard statements as well from reviewing live body cam footage. Unfortunately, we are not able to see that body cam footage today, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, you have heard respective, well-ranked individuals state on their review of a body cam that all officers are required to wear with them whenever they are on duty of an officer removing a civilian, an innocent person, as well as you and I, from their personal vehicle, driving off, flying an uncertified helicopter, being uncertified and attempting to fly off in a helicopter that could pose a bigger danger than driving a car or calling a taxi. I urge you to look within your hearts to side on the side of justice today and allow us our due diligence and receiving a corrupt person off of the force so no other civilian may be plagued by corruption and show that the state of San Andreas District Court will not stand for corruption within its city. Thank you, Your Honor. I have nothing further. Thank you, Jerry, for your time. Defense, closing. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in closing, earlier tonight we heard the police chief who has one responsibility to oversee and manage his people. That's it. We also see an upstanding law abiding officer that has ranked up, has no, not even a speeding ticket on his record before us today. We also have an arrest record that is built fully around assumptions made by the police chief. As the body camera footage may show you one thing, but again has no audio, so you're only getting half of the story. The other half is left up to hearsay. I also want you to please note that there is no body camera footage available. Whereas the prosecution just stated that it is not available today to review, there is no recorded body camera 
footage. It's just what the police chief says, that who again, let me remind you, has one responsibility. Oversee his people and make sure they're following their policies. He did not respond to a 911 call of both an officer in distress, or let me rephrase that, of a civilian in distress and in need of help that involved a potential officer. I hope that you would find it in your hearts to see that this man is not guilty on not one account, but all accounts of this whole entire arrest record and that this man can go back to serving and protecting the people of this state. Thank you all. Okay, Kat, if you would uh, go to the podium directly in front of me, please. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, you do realize that you were under oath at the time of uh, your interview, correct? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, so, your testimony, you did state that you do consider yourself a firearms expert. I do. Uh, can you elaborate why you do consider yourself a firearms expert? Um, well, I consider myself a firearms expert because I am an ex-SWAT member, not in this city, but in other cities that I have since resigned from before I moved here. Once I moved here, I applied for BCSO, where I was then put in to BCSO, and I ranked up just like everybody else. And, um, I mean, it's pretty obvious, you know, that you can identify a weapon as to uh, what Jackson, it is. Objection, speculative. Not everybody can identify a revolver from a pistol, sniper rifle from an M. Drawner. I'll keep that in mind, but continue. And it's also easy to see the size of a magazine on a weapon. And I believe that what I saw at the time of the incident was a high capacity magazine that held over 150 rounds. Your Honor, a speculative. He didn't count the rounds. He doesn't know what's inside the round. Stay on your last keep your quiet. Please be quiet until you are uh, spoken to, please. It's my right to object, Your Honor. You've already objected once to this matter, and I told you we will see where it goes. It was a separate matter, Your Honor. Sir. I'm not going to ask Go you ahead. Yet. Hold the DA in court, Your Honor, or in contempt. Go ahead. I'm right on these objections, Your Honor. State, will you be quiet so I may continue? Hellcat, it yes. is a special certification that would technically make you, well, not technically, it would make you a expert in firearms. Do you hold such certification within the city or state? That is now. All right. Unfortunately, Hellcat, I am finding you uh, guilty on perjury for saying that you were a firearms expert when, in fact, you were not. Um, this does not inflict anything else to do with the case and why we are here today, but this will be a separate matter. Okay. Uh, take your seat. Pardon me? Come through. Jury, you guys have just heard statements and first-hand witness from the court today. You guys will be making a decision inside of the uh, jury deliberation room, which is going to be located behind me and to the left. 
in there, you guys will discuss um, if he should be found guilty of all charges or if some of the charges do not have grounds to stand. Um, keep in mind, if you were influenced by either the defense or defendant in this case to vote or deliberate in any certain way, please speak now. Um, you guys are under oath to hold a non-biased decision on this. If you guys find him guilty of all charges, you guys will hit guilty when the option comes up. If you guys find him not guilty of all charges, you guys will hit not guilty. And then you guys will come back into this room and one person will speak from you guys on what charges you guys find him guilty on and what charges you find him not guilty. At this time, I will ask you guys to please move into the deliberation room. Please use the in-game uh, talking feature to deliberate, and we will all be going outside. You guys will have five minutes, and I will come check on you. Wait, which way, guys? Pardon me. Pushing you out of the way. Oh, that's not my chair. Court is in recess for the next five minutes. Don't forget long dick. God, the sun. The sun, it burns. Uh, pardon me, will you tell him to stop discussing real quick while I enter the room? I don't understand what this breeze is. What's glowing against my face? What's this bright light in the sky? <laughs> is it a spotlight? Am I famous yet? Nope, it's the sun. God damn it. <laughs> Let me what? Oh no, we finally get to see the sun again after being the... I don't know, there for like we've been in there for my days. my my ass is falling asleep. I was about to order some yeah, old those, devil's pizza. <laughs> those benches are worse than they were in the academy. I'd I mean, rather I'm, have the plastic chairs back. Man, at least you're not standing this whole time. Fuck my feet hurt. Hey, those aren't memory foam insoles. Fuck no, I can't afford that right now. Damn, I thought you got paid money. Yeah. No, he's. <laughs> <laughs> Pay salaries at this point. Right. Well, it definitely took a turn when, uh, yeah, when you got charged with perjury. Oh yeah. Here, you two step over here real quick. I'm trying to more or less make us far away so no one can hear us. Alright, what's up? This is a complete utter bullshit. That perjury should be counts of like five. Yeah. So, if he did feel like someone was following him, why not press your panic button? Or why not call it over the radio? Yeah, that too. And why didn't he ask for someone to come pick him up? But, for like, real. you guys were on. I told him to get out of the helicopter because he was taking off. Did I not? We were... Yeah, that's uh, what I got told. Yeah, that's what we got told when we got on duty. Well, I'm saying, what, is that what you heard over the radio? We were on as we uh, civs. Yeah. We were on in our cousins. Uh, fuck. We just I heard what happened once we got, once we, uh, went on duty. Yeah, yeah. Deputy Chief so, not being here is really kind of messing it up, though, because he was in our team the whole time. He's got family shit going on. His grandma just. If you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah today. Uh, um, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, like not sucks. that like less than an hour ago. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, that's why he didn't come. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I wouldn't. So why not postpone it? Because he, he it was stated that too late, and we were already started. We've already put too much time into it. We can't at this point. There's no postponing. Otherwise, it could be faulty inf information, all that. And then basically be thrown out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole thing could be thrown out. I I believe as my right if I do want to and technic he's waving at me fuck sake um I can technically put in a transfer him for him to go back to a different department I want to make sure that it's not under re retaliation I don't think so, it would be I mean but, especially if he brings it up no no I mean I put in the letter fucking like I put in the transfer. Yeah, like, but you'd have to worry about them accepting it. Well, considering with the plea deal, he would, the sheriff's office was, office was considering bringing him back on. I think you should take the plea deal, to be completely They honest. said no right away, surprisingly. That's it, kind he, of stupid. He would have had I jail time for joy... Deal. Like, a jo prison time, a tiny amount of prison time for joyriding, and then would have went right back to sheriff's. I would have taken the plea deal, but that's just me. I would have too. Um, what the fuck is there a coyote? I don't have any. Maybe it'll kill him. And why is it's he in? Thing. Why is he in uniform and not I like? Um, yeah, for real. So I, I that was brought that was brought up to me, but since you guys don't have your equipment on you, I was brought up. I could technically get him arrested for impersonating a peace officer. Or, I mean, I have my hand. I mean, that's it. yeah, um, I mean. I was told that I am able to by by the district attorney. I mean, I'm sure Dom has. I think you still have your weapons in your trunk, don't you? Yeah, I put them in my glove box. But yeah, um, Judge was made aware. Um, but I think and I do have my handcuffs out. on me too, so. so that's, ah. sort of the, that's the only thing I have on me, I believe. Yeah. What God the damn. fuck? God damn. That's a state. I mean, you could get you could technically get the state to do it for impersonation. Yeah, because he was terminated, right? Well, I mean, he was... Sure. So, he technically, suspended. he should not have been... Well, yeah, yeah so if he, he was suspended, suspended, he should so not have been in his uniform. Terminated. Now, do you, you roll... Could, you, could, like, you could have I, technically had one of the... Oh, yeah? ...uniformed officers... Yeah, I want... Arrest I want to talk to... Hey. Yeah. That, what? that state trooper just pulled his gun out and started shooting randomly. Well, I... I yeah, Under law, that's happens. discharge. Of, it's an illegal discharge of a firearm. Arrest this man right here. That's a cop. Oh. I can't. We're in our formals. We don't have any weapons on us. Yeah. That sucks. And I got the cuffs on my back. You want to use them? What, wasn't yeah, all your stuff taken though? You were suspended. Yeah, all your stuff was taken. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Definitely it was. When you're suspended, it time. gets revoked. Your gun, your yeah. badge, <laughs> everything. It's all in an evidence locker. You're supposed to go see uh, Jermaine or whatever her name is. It's Janelle. Janine, Janine, Janelle, Janelle. Janelle. What the Very fuck? Nice she likes she long walks. Walks on the beach. She likes her coffee. Oh, for, where's the nearest bar at? I'm gonna coffee. walk there. Hey, hey, uh, three blocks right. down. <laughs> Thank you. Can, can I? Can it's, I uh, you're still arrested for a Oh well, no. I'll go to liquor store. I swear store. to God, if you arrest him on some bullshit, so I have to sit no, here no, longer, no, I will no, no. personally kill you. No, no, no. I was told I am technically earlier. I was allowed to arrest him for impersonation, so I'm wondering if that still stands. I don't care what the fuck you do. No. It has to be when this is over. No. And this should have been over no. five fucking hours ago. I, Absolutely. It should have. Yes. Where am I supposed to be going? Can we leave? Like, if we all leave, is he just automatically guilty? Somebody just left. I wish it looked I like that. Mode. Well, that would be... I mean, I got my... The, I got my... This is the longest five minutes ever. I don't ever, know about you. And I didn't know yeah. a... a, a Can we just continue right here and count him guilty? A deliberation. <laughs> At this point, I'd rather be patrolling. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to patrol two and a half hours ago. Yep. You know, I got the live feed coming through my hat, so I hope I was guilty. All right, we can all go on patrol now. Objection. All right. Nah, it's too tough. Objection. We all agree. We're not in a courtroom. Badly. 
Oh my god. I wanted to leave three hours ago. Same. You know, this is the longest video feed I'm going to have ever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to leave before this started. This long. Neither do I. This, this shit should have been done right away. Could have, should have just took the fucking seat. Man, if, if we don't get her this he up, I'm going to fall asleep. Back. Like, Honestly, with him not taking the plea deal, personal opinion, off the record, he's fucked. Jesus, you good? <laughs> um, go, go seek medical attention. I swear to God, if any of you get hurt and make this take longer, I personally will hurt you worse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be suing. The bullets will. <laughs> Damn. Do we have a doctor? Nope. No. No, we got county medical, and they only transport up to uh, plead I heard. <laughs> We don't care. <laughs> okay. I don't you guys. I second that motion. Okay, if I can get everybody back to their positions, please. Places. Oh, Judge has a. Yeah, you have a uh, spotter. Action. Your Honor, you have a spotter on your foot. Jump! <laughs> Jump for it! Judge, do a flip. <laughs> do a flip. Do, do a it, do it. Do a backflip. Do it. <laughs> Your Honor, you need to jump. All rise. The Honorable Judge, whatever, is back out. Cases back in session. May I have a seat. Hey, Judge, you're streaming Discord. Jerry, if you can have a seat, except for the uh, individual that is giving the verdict. 20 bucks, it's guilty. Quiet down in the courtroom, please. All right. Who out of my jury is giving the uh, verdict? Oh, shit. I forgot I'm in Discord also. All right. If you would uh, please make sure your microphone is enabled and uh, go ahead and give us your verdict. I believe we're having another case of uh, communication issues, Your Honor. Yeah, if someone can just relay to Discord. Um, what's the push to talk in Discord? What's the? You have to set a key bond. Oh, okay. Will you? It's whatever you set it. One second here. Mm -hmm.
you'll have to go to your settings, go to voice activity, and set a push to talk button. Officer Long Dick. Not have much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And he's got, always been it. there for me. You know. Get out of this court. Oh. No. Officer Long Dick. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, so we decided um, that the defendant is not guilty for Grand Theft Auto, but is guilty of reckless driving and all three other charges for failure to stop at a stop sign. So let's just go on record and let the courts get this straight. You guys found him not guilty on the Grand Theft Auto, but you guys do find him guilty on the reckless driving, failure to obey a traffic sign, failure to stop at a stop sign, and failure to stop at a red light signal. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. Something else that the uh, courts should have asked was his detainment legal or not legal is the question that we should have asked you guys to look at as well um, for the main reason that we are here um, can I get an I if you guys will just have a live vote here real quick between the jury was his detainment legal if it was say I I That's going to be two to one. His detainment was legal. Hellcat, please step in front of the podium. <laughs> Alright, Hellcat. The jury has found you not guilty on charge of uh, Grand Theft Auto, but they have found you guilty of all other charges, and the court has also found you guilty of perjury. Um, the perjury charge is going to come with a $5,000 fine and we are going to meet with the district attorney after this and we will notify you on how that is going to be handled. Um, <clears throat> you can return next year. Uh, Defender. Uh, State, is there anything that you'd like to address to the courts? No, Your Honor. Defense, anything you'd like to address to the courts? No, Your Honor. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for a fair and speedy trial. Oh, shit. My ass. That's a charge. You good, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Jerry, is there anything that you guys would like to add to the uh, courts on the record? All right. This court case has now been uh, court is adjourned. Uh. I can even fucking get my button cracked. Alright, these proceedings are finished. Um, Hellcat was found not guilty of Grand Theft Auto, but guilty of all other four charges. A failure to obey a traffic sign, failure to stop at a stop sign, failure to stop at a red light signal, and reckless driving. Um, Hellcat... Your perjury trial, I mean, uh, your perjury charge, I'm going to consider that time served as the Grand Theft Auto is the one that is being dropped, but you're picking up the perjury charge. Objection, Your perjury. Honor. How is time served a fair and speedy trial under the f deems two to five years? Okay. 
State demands a fair and speedy trial for all counts, not just we can't hold all personnel in charge accountable for their actions if we let one go on a charge of not being found guilty in a different case all <clears throat> I am going to consider it time served since he was jailed for the maximum time that a perjury charge would come with as well. He is office fire and appeal, Your Honor. Repeat that again? The DA's office will file an appeal. What are you guys going to try to appeal? Your ruling on time served for a separate charge altogether that would be a there is no case of double the there's no lawyers. case of double jeopardy in this case so it would be a whole separate court case all DA will be pursuing perjury charges against the nothing further your honor all right well then okay you're off the hook for now for the perjury charge the district attorneys will file the charges at a later date when they feel is necessary. Okay. Court is adjourned. You guys, if you guys stay here, wait for the uh, other parties to walk out first. Um, you Holy shit. Okay, you guys can step on out. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day, guys. Okay. Hey, John. Hey, silver shirt, gray shirt, yes. whatever you are. I just want to say, this is like the fucking coolest thing in the world. <laughs> that came in here, and this is like an actual, like, real thing, it felt like. Just stand right there for me. Absolutely. Whoever came up with this idea was really intelligent. It was, this is actually, like, really cool. Alright, this time you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, not for attorney, will be appointed, provided to you at cost of the court. Do you understand these rights I've read to you? Do you just continue speaking to me without a lawyer present? Yes, I understand my rights, and I will exercise my right to remain silent. Okay. Anything on it's going to poke, stick, or stab me? Nope. Okay, I'm going to pat you down real quick. Okay. That is the wrong button.
Hello. Uh, damn. <laughs> um, I'm curious if he's still employed by LSPD. Yeah, because technically he can get arrest. He can get charged with. Uh, he did. Imper with impersonating. Pretty sure he was walking out with cuffs. No, he was getting. No, he was getting charged. That was he was getting arrested for the perjury. Yeah, but I'm curious if they could stack that. Yeah. If you want to stay in the parking lot and wait on Chief, I think he's uh, still. I think yeah. he's on, in that unmarked. I just gotta keep an eye on my timer for my pizza. Oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, it was heating up when I, I left the first, when I left and I didn't, but now the pizza's in, so now I gotta keep an eye on it because it's a party pizza, so. Oh, it's one of those. I, it's a quick, it was just, you know, they're really fucking good. I threw a bunch of fucking extra pepperoni on it, so. So is this like to be continued or what? I don't know. Have that perjury charge, that's for sure. I hope maybe. Yeah, no. I didn't like the excuse. Um, boy, you didn't take my stuff. I'm. Like, you have suspended. You're supposed to turn in your badge, your gun, and yeah, your belt. Yeah, that got put into evidence. Right. That means that your uniform is also in evidence. Is also in evidence, or in your locker. That means that you should have came so in. So wait, that makes you wonder what have you been wearing the past couple of days? Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just interesting. Say the least. Although I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna stretch my legs because that pain, dude. Yeah. Yeah, my fucking Alexa is being a bitch. Doesn't want to connect to the. Doesn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Hey, I did. Um, can. I Either of you, are you either of you in TeamSpeak? Yeah, we're in, uh, I'm in TeamSpeak, um, I'm just muted. Is, um, the state trooper in there? Uh, let me check. Because right now, with his arrest, with Hellcat's arrest, uh, with perjury, he is be being terminated from our department. And that is not, is that, that is not retaliation, I just got confirmation I am allowed to do that by his lawyer. Is okay, that so is that John G? Um, no, John. Ooh, uh, okay. uh, I don't I can, hey, can you units. can you take me? No, state's two hundred. Can I get a ride down to the station then? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh God, I just realized there's no texture on that fucking spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. I I yeah. There's okay. a, there's a little bit of issues with this. Yeah. Thing, there's but... also on, on the vents of the box. Um, take photos of that and put a ticket in. Okay, yeah. I can do that. So is he also uh, getting arrested for impersonating? Cool. Um, I need to go down there and actually talk with him, so if you guys can... Yeah. Code 3? No, not code 3, code 2. Damn. Um... Give me two seconds. No, you're good. But yeah, at this time, through um, being confirmed by his attorney, I am allowed to terminate him at this time for the perjury charge because the judge has already found him guilty. Oh, good. So, no more Hellcat. Nice. No matter what, I was going to transfer him back to BCSO or put in a transfer for it, but no, he's being terminated completely at this time. So, 
with that being said, do you know if you'd be able to get to work for BCSO? That's all up to well, that's all up to how BCSO's um so data. how their SOP is. I I need to get in there as quick as I can. Um, I'm. Do you, either of you have a body cam on you? Yes, I do. Okay, I need you. I need you to put it on and come with me right now. Uh, all right. Okay, someone needs to f remember to fucking lock these doors. Got my body cam on. Thank you. And we got my. Damn, Dom. What? All right. Um, oh, you booked him already. Damn. He's sitting in the holding. What? Place. Okay. Like, um. Walk through the door. Well, he is being terminated. Anyone else could be at. Yeah, I walk right suspension. behind him. With the first recharge, he is being terminated. He is no longer a officer. He needs to be taken out of the uniform. Shit, y'all sent Why him to prison in... like six times. So y'all sent him to prison in his tidy whities? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, <coughs> have fun, quick. Chief. He's yours. Real quick. Did you clear that too? I mean, he must have a change of clothes in his locker have, or something. I have confirmed this with his attorney. I am allowed to do this. Alright, why don't you wait as the mayor? Why don't you wait until his attorney arrives? Um, I don't think his attorney has come down here. He's calling him right now. So whatever. Okay. I just gave okay. him his phone call. Okay, then yeah, we'll wait. Okay. Um, I'm yeah, gonna go so switch into wanna... my um uh, uniform real quick and then go grab my body cam then. Okay. Yep. He's in holding cell too. If anyone like. To All right. Up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to my uniform real quick. Damn. How fucking quick I rushed in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this bitch is no longer on my department. I don't give a fuck. For real. I don't blame you though. He needs to be sent to jail in his tidy whities and be changed if you find him now on property well or wearing our Damn uniform. It, I need to fix my hat. Fuck. He is to be arrested immediately. Okay. For impersonation. Yes, sir. I am tossing my body cam on. Oh, okay. I gotta go check on my food yep. real quick. Right, you're doing that report, uh, Mr. Nate. Or why is the report is already filed? The report in charge is already filed. Okay. I, do I need to sign on that? Uh, you can if you wish. Uh, right now the summary is currently under. Okay. Let me know when it's done. Mm -hmm. by the district attorney since he's the one filing the charges. Okay. Let me know once that's done then. And then either you or me can sign off. Doesn't matter. Yeah, like, like I said, it, it's it's public. You can look it up on his record yeah. if you like. Wait, when, when, when? Uh, He's actually signing, signing off on it. Yeah, you are to sign off and complete report summary since you're the one filing. I'm just the arresting officer. Okay. Yeah, so, I'll do it. Yeah, that's all you. Well, it, um, technically, it's your arrest. So one of so an officer has to sign the arrest itself. And then I can fill out a supplementary statement that can be attached to it as to why the charge part the Can one of you go upstairs and wait for the attorney? Perfect. And I can get that signed and notarized yeah, yeah. by a judge or right. a clerk somewhere. And I'm gonna can, call him again real quick. Attach that to the file. Okay. Whatever works. Um. Oh, he say he was calling his lawyer, right? Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Jethro. Um, it's long, long nuts, sir. Um, is there any chance you come down to the station real quick? Okay. Um, I just want you for my behalf to be present um mayor's asked me to make wait till you're you're here just before we do any of the termination stuff all right thank you see you soon all right hey, mr. mr jeff throws on his way okay i kind of i, I kindly asked for, for his, his number, number as well, as well. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> kindly give me your number bitch <laughs> <coughs> um 
No, he, he didn't. I he can fill your he, static right now. It was now, just important boy. to be taken out of the uniform. Okay. I know who I am. Do you want me? I'm allowed to go in there technically, right? That's I have my body cam on. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, once his his attorney gets here, just bring him down. Uh, He's technically on here on behalf of me and Hellcat. Uh, give me two seconds, and yes. I know, he's getting paid good. Oh yeah, I'm paying him. For you can tell him he has to change of clothes, yeah. and I'll give him the admin, the clothing menu as no, soon no, as you say now. it. Okay. Yeah, just tell him There's you'll have to bring... <laughs> Did we bring all three of them? How many of them? Nope. No, well, the mayor's allowed to come. The DA is allowed to come if he want, if they please. But who? First off, who let them into the station? Uh, the door was locked. I locked it. They just unlocked it. Okay. Um, I need them. I need you to bring their attorney, like bring walk so, their attorney, uh, his so attorney down. My muscle spasms. Um, which one's Jethro? Jethro is the only attorney that should be up here, up there. I'll come up. There's three people here. I'm trying to figure okay. out who. Okay. Oh, give me a second. I'm coming. I don't know who unlocked the damn door, but I locked that shit. Mr. Mayor, can you move out of the way real quick, please? Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Um. Mr. Jethro, if you want to follow me. Um. Judge, are you coming down? Okay. So all three of them? If you want to follow me then. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you lock that door? Yeah, I got you. Hey, wake up. Yeah, they just came in all at once. I'm like, who's yeah. who's um, jump. What do you mean? Um, you need to jump real quick. You have a fi spider on your foot. Huh. It's not my job to make people like me. That's why I work for the state. But yeah, um, just jump real quick. Um, you're just teleporting around. Come on down. Mr. Trooper. Oh, okay, sorry. Alright. Uh, you gotta jump there, Michael. Hey, Chief, is your officer oh. gonna be down here? Um... If they want, technically, uh, they have they should have their body cams on, so it's different, so it's other points of view. Yeah, please, all officers that are wearing a body cam, please make sure they're Do supporting. Do all four of you need to be down here? I think that's a little excessive. I think we can send some people out on patrol. Okay, then the two of you go out. Oh God. Um, uh, Michael, jump. Hello. There you go. <laughs> I'm wanted to be there when you got arrested. It's all right. Probably about to hop off to be completely honest with you. That took longer than I thought it would. I might go. Well, do you want to at least go on patrol for just a little bit, or do you want? To... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I at least want to see if I can get something other than this fucking court. Would you look at that? What? Get in. Watch. Talking about behind us? No. Him. What the fuck is going on with my controller? Hello? Uh. Oh shit, I still need to eat dinner. So yeah, once you pull out this parking lot, I'm gonna get out and F8. Oh, I can't. Did my fucking controller died? Are you? Okay, I gotta charge all my battery packs again. Yeah, I just F8 out because I need to eat something. Yeah, I got my pizza in. And I'm probably gonna end up making ramen again. <laughs> Oh, 
Huh? What? I needed to make sure I was on speaker. Oh. Now that we got a working microwave again, I can cook something. Oh, um, he found oh. that out real quick that he could get him removed, I guess. So. Well, I'm gonna go make sure my pizza doesn't fucking burn. Are you gonna? Are you getting off? Yeah, I already hopped off. All right. Well, then I'll just I'll talk to you tomorrow then. Yeah, I'm probably gonna stay on this call with long nuts. <laughs> well, I I probably will will too. I'm just if I don't know, I may get off in general just because seeing this chair it's so fucking long. Yeah. Huh? Again, I'm Oh, I can't wait for Saturday, dude. I'm gonna go. Give me. Uh, I got my Saturday back. Stuff's about to go all down, man.
Victoria. Go to bed. Go to bed. Congrats on the new job. Just don't be an idiot like me and stay there for three years and you can get better money. Go to bed. Angel, move. Move. Get out. Nice. Um, eat, cat. Right now. Oh, fuck. Not every day you get somebody fired, I guess. So what happened? I said not every day you get somebody fired, I guess. Right. I ended up cooking ramen with cheese. Hey, wake up. No, you wake up, bitch. Okay, stop paying about the cheese. Huh? Garlic farm sauce on me. From wild buffalo wings. Of course. Just for a little bit of spice. And we're gonna pull so has Long Nut is the Long Nut come back yet? He has, huh? I haven't even asked him if he is. I just assume he will. And you can ask him. Oh, he's not even in the call with us anymore. Yeah. You can ask him if he'll come back. He might be on the call with someone else. Yeah. 
Actually, I can ask him. Please tell me you read that. Hmm. Please tell me you read that. If you haven't read it, read it. I'm still. I'll still be in this call, though, unless both of you leave. <laughs> Yes, I read it. The one that says, just asking for Dom? Yeah. I, can, I know he's happy. Oh, yeah. I can tell you that. And I love how Hellcat says, I'll be suing you. For what? What did he say? When he was getting arrested at the courthouse, he said, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna be suing you. So, okay. I think he was talking to the trooper. What? I'll be yeah. Right back. I will yep. be right back. Here yep. With the troopers. Yep. And you know what was funny? If LSPD ends up arresting him again, at that, <laughs> that'll be funny. You know, my ass still hurts. Let's put on the massaging bed. There you go. I might actually switch a Civ. What's that? I said I might switch a Civ because if everybody's up the. Fuck but... you! You you try again, bitch. Why? Peacock told me something went wrong. Fuck! You try again. And now it's working. Brooklyn Nine Nine, bitch. Oh, YouTube TV being stupid. Yeah. That's my TV. Oh, hold on. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Sound resumed.
327 is reset. Make it a radio check. Here you are, clear. Thank you. Jesus! Three twenty seven is dispatched. I have a uh, suspect on the floor. Um, last from the status eighty one sixty seven. My postal. This shit's good, Dom. Damn. Fucking stupid ass AI, I swear to God. Camaro's still here. What's that? 
My Camaro's still here. Is it really? Yeah. I was surprised that they got him for lying under oath. Yeah. That was something. That turned that I think that turned the jury to charge him with something. Yes, definitely. I'm just happy he's gone. Now I don't need to fuck with him. Also, I hear promotions are possibly coming up. Is that what Lundbeck said, or Chief? He did. Hmm. Yeah, he told me that earlier this morning. That's good. So we'll see what happens. Either way, if one of us gets promoted and not both of us gets promoted, we won't necessarily be able to dual unit because one of us will be a supervisor. Yeah. Um, well, no, he said if I become a, if you become a supervisor, I can't drive the vehicle you're driving. I wouldn't be. A, yeah, we can. We can still. We can. Passenger princess. Oh. Of course. What? Fucking 5M crashed. Of course. Dude, you're fucking shit. Oh my god, come on. Did anybody else's game crash by chance? No, no, just you. Roger that. Uh, of course it was just me. Fucking... I hear you. Well, now your Camaro is not there. Make sure your uh, mic is working. <laughs> what mic what is? the fuck? Hey, 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 my hey, Where do I go to dump this? The ocean. Copy. Can I get an additional 7287 northbound Los Santos Freeway? Got one traffic stop and one additional person sitting back at a distance. 320, 327 on the way. Uh, what was your postal code? 7287 northbound Los Santos Freeway. 10-4.
Dominic? Uh huh. Oh, yep. You were in a 15 ram? There we go. Uh, what'd you say? Three twenty seven on that traffic stop. I'm I'm trying to just talk to them. Do you know exactly what truck it was? Uh, it was the it's the Ram, the thirteen or whatever it is Ram. Okay, I'll just tell them it was the Ram that just drove past. Did it get stolen? No. No, well, I got. I'm it, bringing it, up the textures to them. Yeah, I will. Um, oh, be I careful! Think I, you don't cross over state or, or jurisdiction line. No, I know. Since you're that I close. know. I was just if I they needed assistance, I was just gonna be yeah close, but I wasn't gonna go farther than like right here, you know. Okay, I'm just I'm just making sure you guys don't go over. I don't fucking. I no. Will talk to you. No. I won't go. I'm not going to go up to Polito or anything like that. Okay. I will be back in a minute. Okay. Cool. some good AJ. He said to make a ticket still, but he's work. He's gonna. Oh, look yep, into yep. I will get pictures taken. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. That course was, court case was fucking stupid. It was. I feel like once that perjury charge set in, that helps the jury make a decision. Personally, but I mean, personally, that Grand Theft Auto charge should have went through. It was on body yeah. cam. Yeah, but they threw out the body cam because there was no recording of it. Yeah, that's the. We need to get a fucking recording of it. A thing to record it. Well, and I don't I'm know just I'm just that. gonna start streaming everything every time I patrol, so there is always. I can't stream. Like, at this point, I'll have to just start recording everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to bring up, because if you record... If you would have recorded viewing it, I think it then it would have... Even if I... Stopped. Even if I used the clipping tool, as long, since I watched it happen, um, it would have been fine. Yeah. So... The state needs to invest in recording software. Give me two seconds. I'm being told that I have to come back to the the voice chat. Damn. Yeah, bye, Gator. Fuck. Of course, it's the voice chat we can't join. Yeah, let me. There's... Oh, then they're making a second courtroom. I think that will make a good YouTube video edited correctly. Yeah, that's the thing. I gotta try to edit. 
I gotta try attempt to fucking edit. I have no clue how to edit, so it's that's gonna be fun. How you learn? You gotta start somewhere. Well, no, like I can trim and stuff like that. I just don't have a in intro. That's the only thing is I I would have to trim the stream because I don't have an intro or outro yet. Yeah. I don't know. So that's the only thing. He needs you if you can to do that report like now. Yep. Nope. I'm taking pictures right now. Okay. Thank you. So, he will yep. and real and but um, he's he just needs the report done, the bug report. Nope. I'm taking pictures right now and just getting all over there. I'm even getting pictures of the texture on the roof because that's yep. yep. You're good. Just get rid of take yep. the photos and then just put it make a bug report. Thank you. Yep. Um, what do I want to drive right now? A Tahoe. I'm I'm going Civ. I'm sorry. Right now, I want to go Civ. You don't have a Tahoe for Civ. I may I may switch over to Civ if there's nothing if nothing like really pops. Up. Um, if one of you can kind of stay on as a oh, pop. Well then, yeah, um, I'll stay on because Michael's not um, on. Officer Londick is still newer and but is on right now. All right, you know I'll stay on. Thank you. Oh. He just <clears> needs to make. So I just need someone to make sure he's not breaking any laws or nothing. No, I yeah, get it. Uh, I'm so, I'm tired of going being a cop right now. I want to go fucking blow some go shit. To, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I'll talk about some stuff once you're not streaming. Are you still streaming, Nom? Yes. Stop streaming. I know. Freaking... <laughs> Or stop licking me, you dog! It's nothing Damn. about the court case, but it's just other shit I want to talk nope, about. No, nope. I can't. Yep, I get it. I mean, I'm just doing the ticket right now, so you're good. You are completely good. I ain't even gonna lie though. The way they handled that, like I've been in multiple cities with court. Yeah, that but was better than the other city I was in before. The way they handled it, I feel like, was awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, I give a props to fucking Jethro. Yeah. Jethro did really... So, I'm gonna say this. Gator thought he was fucking prepared to win completely. Yeah. Fucking, he, he started hearing Jethro, and he's like, fuck. Yeah. 220 or 282 or 382 can't tell but this shit takes a lot of the gas yeah and speaking of which that's one thing I've noticed do the police cars not use gas no they do it must be very little then because I've I've yet to have to fill up a cruise I have but that's also because I